So dragon um, on my left shoulder is represent aggressive, mean, go get it, um, no mercy, ambition. Um, my right, it's a goldfish, represent peaceful, um, kindness, and calm. I think uh, one thing about being a fighter, you need to know when you stop fighting. <laughs> you know, if you're fighting to like Muhammad Ali to has a passing in disease before you stop, then you're a little bit overboard. And I think a lot of times when people compete about fighting, they go on the wrong way. People start taking steroids, people taking supplement more than I'm eating my right rice. And that's a little bit too extreme. I consider myself as a fighter. I still train, still roll, still spark the student, but I don't compete, I don't fight. Because why? I want to keep my brain nice. I don't want to keep broken my nose. I mean, you can only broke so many times and eventually it's going to break down. I'm watching a lot of UFC fight and I think it's a brilliant idea, whoever promote that, that fight. It really bring, brings like all the art together. Standard cage fight, you can really hit behind the neck. I think nowadays you can't kick the face. Um, you can hit the, the groin. Uh, pretty much everything goes. Fighting's fighting, you know. Fighting's been around for years. That's what UFC does. It. That's what a lot of promoter does. Is put the fighting instead of the street, put it on a TV. And actually, what you see on TV, it's a little blood, a little knocked out. It's a lot less violent than on the street. A lot of people like to see that. As much as people say, I don't want it, but the TV's on, people watch it. It's exciting to see body movement, see blood comes out, see violence. That's, I think, a part of people's nature. You know, just like the gladiator years ago, people like to see them killing each other. You know, people pay a lot of money to do that. So, nowadays, it just makes martial arts just makes more interesting to watch. Instead of just boxing, stand-up, kickboxing, or pure grappling tournament, you've got mixed, diversified, like so many techniques involved, and the people who practice a little bit, you actually appreciate the watching because you see so much technique skills involved. I mean, I know a lot of, associated with a lot of professional fighters. They're actually very nice guys. And those guys, usually, they don't, they don't get violent. They don't have temper. So right now, what they're doing, this is the light spawn. This, this guy's fighting, you know, they're, they're pro fighters. So they, they work on like the whole thing of take down, ground, stand up. They pretty much do the whole package. But it's a practice thing, so they don't really hit hard. I'm just training all the time in my mind even when I'm not here. So, I mean, it's just, and I can barely sleep. Once once it starts to get like, like two months away, I just can't even sleep anymore. I just think about it constantly. I'm running through each different scenario. I'm constantly studying technique and um, just going through stuff in my head, trying to make sure I don't make any mistakes and just go out there and do my game plan. You know, some people ask me like, well, how the hell he's become a professional fighter? He's such a nice guy. Well, most professional fighters are pretty nice. They look like a punk in the, in the you know, doing the fight, of course. You know, you gotta bring that gentleman that comes out, gotta bring the aggression comes out. You know, you're fighting, competing. You don't wanna lose, you know. And we all know the strongest moment you have physically is when you get angry and pissed off. My whole tactic is just to not think about it until, until it happens. And then I'm like, where, where the hell am I? You know? And I just have to do what I have to do, and then your instincts kick in instead of thinking about it too much. You know? Once that first punch is thrown, once that first kick is thrown, once somebody grabs you, it just all goes away. You stop thinking. And, and you just start doing what you're trying to do. I'm always trying to improve no matter whether I want or not. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. As long as I keep getting better and, and work on what I want to work on. And, uh, I'm just going to train my ass off. And I can't wait to fight. Dummy set. A little bit of conditioning. A little bit of striking. First thumb is a little shorter. Each thumb is about three inches taller. So if you want to practice fighting somebody bigger, you move up. How long 
long have you been fighting for? Like five years? You've been training five years? And what do you like about it? Everything? Yeah. What's your favourite thing to do? Grapple? Who are your heroes in here? Um, Sifu and Zach. They always push themselves to the hardest they can go. You're growing up, Franklin. Trying to beat me up. When I step out here, I'm absolutely a chicken shit. If anybody were to pick a fight, I would, the first thing I would do is run. One thing about Danny, he's Chinese, he's my kind, and uh, I really love to teach him my kind because Asian people are so, sort of kind of famous for um, getting picked on, small, petite, tiny. When I got here, um, Sifu, since the instructor, he's like, hey, you're pretty strong for your size. So he just kind of jump in, go around. I'm really happy to have some Asian guy train with me here, and I I treat them like a treasure, you know. It's my own kind, you know. I want to make them look good. I don't want to make them look like a little skinny stick and going out getting beat up. But he did a couple fights, um, doing pretty well. Danny got a lot of potential, strong will. Um, for his size, he's a super strong guy. I'm like, damn, 135 pound guy. This guy can lift. The big part of the the, the reward I, I, get, I get is when I start teaching somebody like you, example, maybe don't want to fight, I don't want to get involved anything, and a year or two goes by, you know, you become a totally different person. The martial art, learning how to fight, it leads you to benefit from many different things. I mean, I, I literally see some guys coming down here just depressed, hate the world, hate everybody, six months training, and you can see they're very different. They're happier, they talk to people, open up more. You work out every day, you walk around, confident level's high, you know, I'm hot, I'm sexy, shit, you know? But, right, if you don't work out, you sit at home on the couch, and you're gonna feel better about yourself, of course, because you need to do something, you know? Yeah. Whoa!